1979 to 1989, the honeymoon period of China-US relations ended, and the Taiwan question, which had already cooled down was put on the table again. 1991. As the US no longer needed China to confront the Soviet Union, it turned to pull the Republic of China against the People's Republic of China, leading to increasing political tensions of the three parties between the two sides of the strait. In June 1995, Li Tunghui visited the US, becoming the first high-ranking official of the Republic of China to visit the US in 17 years. He then intended to strengthen the first island chain, aiming to make Taiwan an unsinkable aircraft carrier. This move triggered an immediate crisis, to which the People's Republic of China immediately responded. In the age of modern technology, unsinkable aircraft carriers do not exist. From July to December 1995, the People's Republic of China conducted large-scale operational military exercises, and fired Dongfeng-15 ballistic missiles into the waters off Keelung and Kaohsiung as an expression of strong dissatisfaction. While the U.S. military responded by sailing the aircraft carrier's USS Nimitz into the Taiwan Strait, this is the culmination of the contradiction between the two sides since the Kinmen bombardment. In March 1996, in response to the upcoming first presidential election in Taiwan, the People's Liberation Army conducted another large-scale exercise and missile test, and the ROC Army immediately entered the highest alert state. The U.S. military urgently dispatched the aircraft carriers USS Independence and USS Nimitz to assemble in the waters east of Taiwan, completing the largest deployment of U.S. forces in the Asia-Pacific region since the Vietnam War. In April 25, 1996, the U.S. military's anticipated strategic deterrence did not work as expected. The Central Military Commission of the People's Republic of China ordered the Joint 961 Exercise Plan to be officially converted into the Operation Plan Climb Mount Komolangma. At dawn, all warships landing crafts and civilian boats assembled in the western side of the strait went into action, heading straight for the Taiwan Island.